basket out uh, in the, on a table by the steps um, that we believe these messages are going to go to his widow. So if you remember and enjoy John Hicks as much as I did, I swear when he stepped on the stage or when he got to play, he just gritted his teeth. He got into that mandolin so hard. So anyway, Mike, tell him, share the story. Uh, uh, you guys that know me know I don't ever talk with you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, East Virginia, before John and I and, and Ty ever met, this is back in the 70s, we all three were huge East Virginia fans. We all studied the music, we all loved the albums, we all knew the stuff. And as the three of us came together, we already knew the music, and it just became the catalyst that kind of brought us together. I mean, East Virginia, I love, I love you. But we were, John and I were in high school together. He was a year younger than me, at least grade-wise. And we were both going to be real cheeky and take Guitar 101 as an elective and pretend that neither of us knew how to play guitar. <laughs> and we still hadn't met. But anyway, we were in the class. Both of us had been playing guitar for years. We? <laughs> we were sitting in class one morning waiting for the teacher to come in. She was late. You know how teenagers do it. They're bored and sulking over the instruments. And I was on one side of her and John was on the other side of her. And I hit that Lester Flat G one. Dum -dum -dum. And John's head popped up like a prairie dog. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody here plays bluegrass. <laughs> and we met that afternoon after after class, and we arranged it so that his dad would bring John over to my house, and we would play for the first time. And the very first song that we ever worked on together was "Record Carry Home." Wow. That was very first. That's what got started. And me and Ty and John were the three musketeers for a long, long time until life took us in different directions. But um, I, I we owe everything to that. Wow. Thank you, guys. But again, um, you know, this music. It's going to be carried on and on and on. I think the, the songwriters workshop today, the young songwriters, just phenomenal musicians right here locally, everywhere. And we all take it back to the times that we remember. And that was starting with, with East Virginia for a lot of us and, and the influence that they had. And um, again, just a, a very quiet moment in um, remembrance of John Hicks and his, his wife. I know these guys um, are going to miss him tremendously. And, um, if, uh, if anybody has a story they'd like to share real quick, raise your hand, wave at me or whatever. But if you, if, you, uh, if you just have it in your heart, really, to think about his widow and uh, what, the, what the music meant to, to him, to these guys here, to all of us that love this kind of music and keep on going because of that and uh, because of you, because you're here tonight. But um, anyway, uh, drop it open in the basket and we hope that will, that will bring some comfort um, to his widow. So anyway, uh, we're going to give the sound guys a chance to get ready for the, the final act tonight. Oh, come on up. Great. On behalf of the whole band, I'd like to say I'm sick and tired of hearing about uh, how old we are. Fred over here on the basement. 
a couple of times when he was sitting in uh, with us, and uh, Aveline was uh, our lead singer for a while. <laughs> and uh, we got, had the pleasure of working with both of these guys. The other two fellas I remember, but I, we never got to work together. You were just a couple of years younger than we were at that time. Yeah, how well they reminded us of that. <laughs> But uh, we do appreciate them going to the uh, extra effort of learning our music and coming up here and doing it for you uh, this evening. We have no fingers, no voices, no nothing. All we have now is great big round bellies. <laughs> but uh, we, we appreciate since we couldn't do it that uh, they would come up here and do it for you this evening. So thank you guys. Thank you for putting all this stuff together behind the scenes. Nobody ever thought to 